time. We all know what time is. The time now, I don't actually know it really because I haven't got a clock behind me. But um, it's normally I have a clock to time these videos down to 10 minutes, you see, and then I sort of go. And then I can crop it, you see, and then I'll load it to YouTube. But, um, right, time. The arrow of time, classically speaking in physics, it, it's straightforward. It, it's the arrow of time is always forward. It's a positive force, I suppose you'd say. Um, I suppose you could sort of say the speed of time, if there is such a thing, can't really exceed the speed of light, which is 186,000 miles per second. I hope I got that right this time. Because last time on one of my videos, I got the, I said 366, but anyway. Um, and apparently, well, I remember arguing with my friend at school anyway, that he says, hey, they've got these uh, mathematical formulas that mean you can't possibly travel in time before your own existence, you know? So I couldn't possibly travel before my own lifetime and things like this. I mean, it's really interesting, isn't it? Time machine, time travel, the idea, I mean, the idea that you could go back in time to, you know, the past and meet people and imagine how clever you'd be compared to them and all this other stuff. Oh, this was my, my daydream topic as a kid for years and years. I just used to dream about going back in time, going forwards in time maybe. But most of the time I want to go back. Um, and okay, that's, that's, that's what I'm interested in with regards to time, okay? Um, but what is time? Um, aim it backwards. EMIC, you know? Uh, no, I mean, to, to travel through time, I have to define what time is. And you can't grab it, can you? I mean, time's been invented by humans. I mean, where is time in the universe? Is there time? I mean, the only reason we think there's time, so to speak, I think, is because we're conscious of moving forward. That's what we think. It doesn't mean that that's a universal con constant, you see, that won't change or can't change. Because we've gone to loop pro theory, there's three possibilities, you know what I mean? So, right, so, time, I mean, we've got the past, the present and the future, three options, okay? The present's neutral, the future's positive and the past is negative. I don't mean the past is bad, I just mean these are three the three words I used to describe the, the three types of change in the universe, that's all I mean, okay? Um, and like I say, would this, simple, would there, would there be time if there was no conscious humans here? What do you think? People might say, of course there'd still be time. Time's a constant, a universal constant, whatever. Even if there weren't any humans here, there'd still be time, you know? Which is possible, this is the kind of thing I used to think, okay? And then someone like me would say, okay, how do you prove it? If there's no humans here, then how could there be any time? I say, oh, well, time is this, and I say, what is time? And they say, it's this, it's that. And then I might think, well, but Theoretically, there's an opposite to what you just said, plus neutral. Annoying as that may be, it is a theoretical possibility. And if we're trying to answer everything, it's got to be Kung Fu thought. It's got to be right there, bam, what about this? You've got to think about everything and try and think, right, but what could possibly affect my argument? Um, so the easiest way to sort of not get around this, but to explain everything in this context is to say, there might be time, there might not be time, plus neutral. And like I say, I think time is invented by humans. That's, that's what I think. Um, it, it's, it's a way of measuring change, I suppose, and it, which seems forward, but like I say, there's three possibilities at all times. So, there's a possibility for past, present and future, whether you think you're going forward or not. Whether I think um, tonight's going to be tonight and it, now is going to be in the past, now it could also be in the future or the present, depending where I am and what happens. Um, because if you try and say, oh, you can't say that though, well, how can you prove that? I say, well, I can't, I can't, plus the because it's, it's loop of three things all the time, so there's three possibilities at all times. So the present, the past, and the future are possible right now. It just depends. And that's when we come into this consciousness thing, you see. Because that's, that's when you get the feeling that, oh, you've been here before, or you can feel something's going to happen in the future, or you feel that the present is really the time now, you know? And you can feel these things at any, any different time, because it's possible. That's the thing. I mean, before people have just denied it and said, well, you can't, you can't prove it, but no one's ever said what proof means. 
Um, proof means 100% singularity, that's what it means, basically. This is a piece of paper. Absolutely, this, this is paper. You can't possibly say it's not a piece of paper. But when I was thinking about this kind of thing, this kind of, like I say, it's always got to be pushing it, pushing it, pushing it to the absolute limit. Is there a limit? Can we go beyond that limit? What if there wasn't a limit? What if there was, you can just imagine a limit? That's it, you see. Like I say, this piece of paper, it's stupid as it sounds, right? This is a piece of paper, not a piece of paper, plus neutral, impure, possible theory. And the sooner we accept and embrace this idea, the sooner we can get back to practicalities in life, helping people, being nice to people, things like that, rather than wasting their time judging people singularly and saying this person will never change, this, this person is negative, bad, horrible, you know, nasty, whatever it is, and they can never, ever, ever change. That is not 100% possibility. It might be highly likely that they're going to not change or not going to change. It might be 99% likely, but it could never be truly 100%, because if someone says it's 100%, I can say it's also theoretically not 100% plus neutral. And that's, about, that's what it's about, pushing it. 